In this activity, we are going to charge and discharge a capacitor. So the materials that we're going to use, of course, a battery, breadboard, uh, in an electrolytic capacitor, uh, we have resistor, uh, two resistors, uh, 300 ohms and 10 kilo ohms resistor, and light emitting diode. So the purpose here is we are going to compare the time of discharge of a capacitor using 300 ohms and using 10 kilo ohms. So which circuit uh, discharge faster using 300 ohms or using 10 kilo ohms? Okay. Then in our previous video, we discussed how to determine the value of resistance of the resistor and to determine the anode and cathode terminal of the diode. Now for capacitor, uh, we are using electrolytic capacitor. So it is a polarized capacitor. So the value of capacitor is 1000 microfarad 16 volts okay so an electrolytic capacitor is a polarized capacitor so it is important that we are going to connect a capacitor in a circuit into a correct polarity so or else if it is a reverse polarity so it might damage the capacitor so to determine the positive and negative polarity of the capacitor so it is uh, printed here in the body of the capacitor so you have here sign negative okay so meaning this one is the negative terminal okay so in other uh, other case uh, D determined by the length of the terminal okay so the longest terminal is the positive and the shortest terminal is the negative or the cathode side. Okay, so let's begin the circuit connection. In the breadboard, we are going to use this positive and negative connection for the battery. Okay. So first, we are going to connect our capacitor. Okay. So you have here the negative polarity. So meaning it's connected here. So we are going to connect our uh, negative polarity for our capacitor. And then positive on the upper side. Okay, and then in, we are using okay, we are using 300 ohms resistor. Okay, first we are going to use 300 ohms resistor, and then we are going to compare uh, compare the time of discharge of the capacitor. So using 300 ohms resistor, and then later on we are going to change 300 ohms to 10,000 ohms resistors okay so next one here our LED so positive connected to the in series with the resistor okay and then negative connection for the battery then okay using our battery here so we are going to connect uh, so we will start with negative okay Okay, 
negatif and positif polarity okay. so as you can see the light emitting diodes turn on and then maybe five seconds after so we are going to turn it off so this time here our capacitor is charging okay then we are going to turn it off in order to discharge the capacitor and we are going to observe the light of the LED so the time of discharge okay so I'm going to turn it off by unplugging the positive connection and observe so as you can see the capacitor discharge so by uh, using the LED no, as indicator so I'm going to connect it again okay so in this state so the capacitor is charging and we're going to discharge the capacitor so the capacitor will be totally discharged when the LED is off so we are going to to determine the time until the LED is off when we discharge this capacitor so by turning off the circuit okay so that is uh, for using 10 kilo ohm ah uh, sorry 300 ohms resistor so now we are going to change it into 10 kilo ohms resistor okay we are going to connect 10 kilo ohms resistor okay same connection with the 300 ohms okay, here then we are going to turn on the circuit so as you can see the the light or uh, emit uh, emitted from the light bulb or the light emitting diode is dull no compared to compared to uh, using 300 ohms resistor so We're going to discharge it, okay, and compare the time of discharge using 300 ohms or using this one here, 10 kilo ohms. Okay, so as you can see, our light emitting diode is totally off so that means our capacitor is discharged already so why is it that when we use 300 ohms the light from the LED is brighter no and when it comes to discharging it discharges directly and compared to this one using 10 kilo ohms the light is dull and when we discharge this capacitor so the light from the light emitting diode slowly turn off or slowly discharge okay so why is it so please comment down below so if you have answers so regarding the question of this activity okay so once again i'm going to turn it on using 10 kilo ohms okay and turn it off okay so slowly the light from the light image our LED is slowly turning off. Ok, 
Okay. So, we change it again to 300 ohms. Okay. Then, turning on the circuit. Okay, so as you can see, the light is brighter than using 10K. Then, turn it off. So, it discharges directly. So, as you can see, the light turn off directly as, you, as we discharge or disconnect the power source from the circuit. Okay, here. Okay, so if you have uh, you have answers on the question, okay, please comment down below. So why is it that using 300 ohms, the the light from the LED is brighter compared to a uh, circuit using 10 kilo ohms, where the the light of, from the light emitting diode is dull and when it comes to discharging the capacitor so using 300 ohms it discharges directly and using 10 kilo ohms it slowly discharges the capacitor okay so please comment down below